Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Dr. Paul Richardson and I'm the uh, Clinical Program Leader and Director of Clinical Research at the Jerome Lipper Multiple Myeloma Center uh, at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Massachusetts. And it's my privilege to be here at the annual ASCO meeting uh, where we presented um, the results of our Optimism study, a large international phase three effort um, comparing a three drug combination of pomalidomide, bortezomib and dexamethasone in relapsed patients um, to a control group of, uh, of patients receiving the standard of care bortezomib and dexamethasone. Um, this regimen was, uh, or th this study, um, was open to patients who had received one to three prior regimens and most importantly, um, patients who participated had to all have received prior lenalidomide treatment. And in fact, they could be refractory to lenalidomide treatment entering the study, but of course they had to be responsive to proteasome inhibitors in order to um, benefit potentially from both arms, either the control receiving bortezomib-based treatment um, or um, the experimental arm in which bortezomib was combined with pomalidomide. Now the results were really very exciting. Uh, we were able to show that in over 550 patients, randomly assigned uh, on a one-to-one -one basis to each arm, um, that the three-drug combination of pomalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone was superior um, to the standard doublet of bortezomib and dexamethasone. What's also very important to note is that not only was this benefit apparent across the whole study, but most importantly, in those patients who had had one prior line of therapy, the benefit was particularly striking. Now, 70% of our patients were lenalidomide refractory. That meant, in other words, lenalidomide not only was part of their treatment, but they were actually progressing on lenalidomide treatment. And in that context, if we looked at that group in particular, they too benefited from the three drug combination quite markedly compared to those uh, who were just receiving bortezomib and dexamethasone as part of the uh, control group. Particularly interesting too, um, with a group of patients who had received one prior therapy. And in this group, the progression-free survival benefit in favor um, of the three drugs over the two was larger than we expected at around 10 months in favor of the three drug combination. And the so-called hazard ratio, which gives us an idea of how important that is, was really quite impressive at 0.5. Now, what was also important in the same context um, is that the tolerability profile uh, of the combination um, was actually not unexpected in any way in terms of the side effects we saw and was generally manageable. Rates of neuropathy were low and manageable. The rate of neutropenia um, was higher for the three drugs compared to the two as we would expect, but very importantly it too was manageable with only 3% of patients running into febrile neutropenia where the neutropenia is associated with a possible infection. And again, this proved very manageable. Finally, the response rates between the two arms, as you might expect, uh, reflected the superiority of the three drugs over the two. Uh, and in fact, in one, to, uh, one prior line of treatment, the response rate for the three drug combination was actually just above 90%, which in such a population is really quite encouraging. And overall for the study in total, uh, it was around 82%, which was pretty good. Uh, in the setting of relapsed refractory disease. So we're very encouraged by this result. And where do they lead us? They lead us to saying they, that the platform of pomalidomide-based treatment with a proteasome inhibitor after initial treatment um, is arguably a new standard of care um, for patients um, with relapsed multiple myeloma. Future directions um, will include evaluation of a various number of correlative studies that we've done with the trial, including patient samples um, that help us understand who benefits in particular and why. And at the same time, we're also looking at what we call MRD, which is MRD negativity, and those patients who achieve a high quality response, and we'll report on that in due course. And most importantly, we're also looking at a quality of life analysis as well. And I think for the future, uh, as was shown at this meeting, um, the combination of pomalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone combined with other new drugs like monoclonal antibodies could be a very exciting avenue.